the Hollywood Film Awards presented by Dodge. Yeah, it's two-sided, but I promise you I'm just blind. Um, it's an auspicious occasion for me tonight. Um, I'd like to congratulate all of tonight's honorees, but a special shout out to my former castmates, Matthew McConaughey, David Oyelowo, and <laughs> hey Matthew. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and Michael, <laughs> sorry, and Michael B. Jordan. But I have the great pleasure of presenting to Sandra Bullock. So I thought, what can I tell you about Sandy that you don't already know? When I first worked with her on A Time to Kill, she was already a beloved movie star, and I was a fan. I was also a PA in extras casting, and a good friend, Tate Taylor, also a PA, but in the production office, knew that I was like dying to meet Sandra Bullock. Uh, it was our first week of shooting, just about, and the production had organized a, a welcome gathering for the crew, and unbeknownst to us, well, okay, me, Sandy was upstairs meeting with, you know, I don't know, Joel Schumacher or the producers. The point is, sorry about that P-pop. <clears throat> um, that's what they call it when you do voiceovers, a P-pop. Um, anyway, the uh, point is, when I saw Sandy walking down the stairs, I was surprised. So I made a beeline over to her because I was gonna say hello. And my dear friend, Tate Taylor, got to me right before I, I, I reached her and he grabbed my arm and he said, Rock, that's what they call me because I used to do karaoke and it was Rocktavia, but it became Rock. Um, <laughs> not very good at karaoke, but anyway, he was like, Rock, you can't just walk over to people and start talking because you know, movie stars don't like that and some people get fired. So, of course, I did an immediate about phase and got a little salty with Sandra Bullock. Um, my heart was broken because I thought, really, they fire you for saying hello to your favorite movie star? Well, I am not saying hello to Sandra Bullock ever. A couple of days later, our paths crossed again, and I cut her a wide berth. I was watching her, but I didn't say hello. And I turned around, and we somehow were, you know, face to face. And she said, hey, I'm Sandy. We haven't met. And my heart stopped because, you know, I started looking around and thinking, oh my God, are they gonna fire me? I didn't say hello to her, she said hello to me. <laughs> and I'd like to, you know, I, I don't re really remember whether or not I, I told her my name, but I'm sure I did because from that day forward, she always said, hey, Octavia. Now, I'd like to tell you that I was somehow a special case, but I wasn't. That's the way she was, is, with everyone. It was great for me spending some, that summer with Matthew, Sandy, and Sam, because they taught me a lot. And the big lesson that I learned, that I carry, to me, carry with me until this day in my own career, is there were no movie stars on the set of A Time to Kill. For this lowly PA, there were amazing actors who just turned out to be exceptional people. And I was grateful for having had that experience. But enough about back then. This year, Sandra delivers a stunning performance that critics and audiences are calling a true tour de force. And I happen to agree in the acclaimed and record-breaking hit, Gravity. Now, if you're one of the three people who haven't yet seen this film, uh, you're in for a treat. And I'm sure that after this uh, ceremony tonight that you're gonna make your way to a nearby theater. But for the rest of us, here is a reminder why the Hollywood Film Awards named Sandra Bullock the best actress of the year and why she is already being called an Oscar favorite. <laughs> 